I'll have my lunch now. A single pillow of shredded wheat, some steamed toast, and a dodo egg. But I think the dodo went extinct. Get going! A game-changing scientific breakthrough has brought us one step closer to reviving the dodo bird, which has been extinct for over 300 years. The dodo, discovered in the late 16th century, is the gone-too-soon golden child of extinction and conservation, and a cherished icon of culture in its native Mauritius and around the globe. For the first time in history, scientists have grown pigeon primordial germ cells, or PGCs. These are the early stem cells that become sperm and eggs. Until now, growing PGCs was only possible in chickens and geese. By unlocking it in pigeons, sterile eggs from genetically edited chickens can be used for Nicobar pigeon surrogates, the dodo's closest living relatives. Colossal's chief executive and co-founder, Ben Lam, said the species' return could be less than a decade away. Rough ballpark, we think it's still five to seven years out, but it's not 20 years out. to make enough genetic diversity engineered into them that we can put them back into the wild where they can truly thrive. So we are not looking to make two dodos, we are looking to make thousands. We've launched three de-extinction projects, Mammoth, Dodo and Thylacine, which is also sometimes called the Tasmanian Tiger. The choice of these three species is purposeful. We have a marsupial mammal, a placental mammal, and a bird. And as we develop the technologies to bring these species back to life, these technologies will have immediate application to helping species pretty much across this animal diversity to, to survive and adapt in the climates of today. Once hatched, the birds will be released into several protected reserves in Mauritius, which was the dodo's natural habitat before they were driven to extinction 350 years ago. Colossal biosciences say this means dodo chicks could be around in as few as five years.